Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the User of Bricks channel. Uh, today I will be going over a requested uh, topic, uh, downloading mCreator on a Mac. Now if you are doing this on a Windows, uh, there is a how to install uh, page that mCreator has uh, on their website. Uh, they also have one for Mac and Linux. I will be using the Mac. I have it opened here on my phone. You should see it on the uh, right-hand side of your screen. Uh, so, yeah, just to show you what I'm going to. Now, the mCreator downloads is mcreator.net slash download. And yeah, so the first step is to download the latest version, which the latest version here would be uh, 1.8.3. And I believe this is the only supported version now. So you want to click download and you will want the one for Mac. If you are on Linux, you'll want to do Linux, Windows, whichever Windows, the, I forget whether it's XTE or ZIP for if you're an admin or not, and then the other if you're not an admin. Well, yeah. So today we will be wanting the Mac version, so. We want to click download, and this will take us to the download downloading page. Now, for me, it generally doesn't uh, download shortly. It really doesn't ever download if you leave it here. So just click the this link here to manually start download, and that will send the file into your downloads tab. Okay, and now all we have to do is wait for the download to finish. When it downloads, it will come into your downloads and it'll be a, yeah, a DMG and it will open some sort of uh, thing up in your corner for you you won't be able to see this but it'll be but this will be in your top uh, right hand of your screen when you download it so I, I over here just for me it my screen continues on you're only seeing part of my screen uh, just cuz I wanted you to see the step-by-step -step that mCreator has. Uh, so yeah, so let's, it is almost there. Let's open back up the web page so that I don't slow down my computer. It is almost done. There we are. Okay, so when you download this, as I said before, uh, the DMG will be here. You will want to uh, drag it to your preferred folder. Uh, for me, that is my desktop. And you can take it almost wherever as long as you have privileges to edit that uh, thing. If you do not own the computer and there is someone else as the admin, you will want to get to take it to your desktop. Um, you might also need uh, some admin to help you with some parts of this. So you want to uh, double click on it, I believe. So, yeah double click it to open it should 
start it and you'll see this the verifying m creator uh whatnot dot dmg and there we go it has opened the this for you like what i was saying before it will open this kind of uh hard drive looking thing uh, you don't really need to bother about this for a little while, so you can just leave that off to the side. What we want is this file inside it, the mCreator 1.8.3, well, mCreator 1.8.3. Uh, yeah, as it says here, uh, you need to have it in a folder where the permissions are to read and write. Uh, yeah, so you want to, on a Mac, you can just drag it out and it will automatically copy since the mCreator 1.8.3 drive, you could say is a drive. On Macs, you can only copy from the drive to the computer and the computer to the drive. You can't just move files. So let's let that copy. Okay, once it has copied over to your desktop, uh, you can get rid of this and this here. You can double click it and eject and creator, or you can drag it to your uh, trash bin. You can see your trash bin turns into an eject icon. You can just put it in there and it'll automatically eject. It'll turn this light gray and it will eject. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes, seconds, and whatnot. Uh, so, you also don't need the DMG anymore. You can delete that, put it in your trash by either, again, moving it into your trash bin or do, hitting the command delete. So with this mCreator183 file, let's look at our list. Um, Click on the, the, ah, yes, this part. You want to go into your mCreator 183 file. From what I heard, many of you already got to this stage, uh, but, and you clicked on the mCreator.commands and uh, for some of you, this opens. For some of you, it didn't. Uh, the, some of the reasons are uh, uh, it, from the troubleshooting uh, thing. Uh, you can do uh, the, some re reinstalling brew and whatnot, but you have to have access to the terminal. Generally, if you're all going to use this anyway, you want to have use have access to that. Um, but what most of what your problems are coming from is uh, the read and write uh, sort of stage. So to f to fix this, like it it'll open but you don't have you won't probably won't have access to editing this uh this folder to check if you do have uh editing access you will want to double click on it and get info this will bring up this page right here and you can see that down here in sharing and per permissions you can only read. You need to read and write. So, uh, you should be able to change this. Uh, if you're an admin, sometimes you have to unlock it using uh, passwords and whatnot. 
Uh, but yeah, since I am an admin of this computer, I can just click that and it will work. Generally, if it is in a place where you can already edit, I believe you can change this on your own. Uh, so now that that is set to read and write, we can click on the m creator or dot command. If you just click on it, it will open this window as noted right up here on the uh, in step three. Uh, you will want to double click on it or control click, sorry, uh, and uh, open. And I think n since I'm, I use a trackpad, uh, I think I've been telling you guys wrongly. I think to s get to the, yeah, you have to control click to get to this thing here. So, Anywhere where I've said double click, just do control click and that'll fix it. Uh, anyway, so we want to control click and open. It'll bring up this uh, window and you can click open. Now, this uh, may take a couple minutes as you can see it opens the terminal uh, and this will work it will go all the way through good it opened this this uh, app this is what the icon of M Creator app looks like and it will have the java thing java name next to it uh, you have to have both that and terminal open at all all times while using M Creator, which is a bummer, but it is work aroundable. So, you don't need to be inside this folder anymore. As you can see, it's loading up. Oh man, some of it is cut off for you uh, just because of how I have all of this. Uh, recording and you being able to view the uh, downloading steps on my phone. Okay, so let this go through and it should work. Oh, and it will open this web page. You don't need this web page, so just Get out of it. Oh, cancel. Yeah. So, now that this is, can I fit it in? Oh, so very close. Well, all the important information should be on this side. Okay. So. Let's let this load. And there we have it. M Creator has opened and is running. We can create a workspace and whatnot. Uh, and yeah, it's all it's all working. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down in the, uh, yeah, just leave a comment. And uh, please like as well, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I will see you next time.